How's it going today guys? This is Upside Down Ace, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2012 Hennessy Venom GT. Now, Hennessy is a tuning company based in the US, and normally these tuning companies will take a car, add a new engine, put some new suspension in it, and change it up a little bit, make it a little bit faster than the old car, but nothing significantly different. So, the Hennessy is based on the Lotus Elise, or the Lotus Exige, and you know, the Lotus Elise is known for its pinpoint handling, and somewhat powerful engine it's got, usually got 200 horsepower in there and what Hennessy did was they scrapped that 200 horsepower engine and they put something completely different in it they have a massive engine in this car and it is just the absolute opposite from the Lotus Elise this car is totally based for top speed but it still has that Lotus Elise feel to it you know it's made for performance it's a driver's car it has no assists you know no excess weight nothing this is just built for that ultimate experience and to achieve that ultimate top speed. Now guys, Hennessy achieved this by offering their Venom GT in 800, 1000, and 1200 horsepower variants. And guys, we got the whole shebang. We're going to have our cake and eat it too. This is the 1200 horsepower variant, and I am super excited to have it in Forza. I was hoping that it was going to be the 1200 as soon as it was announced, and we got it. And it is just unbelievable. This engine is like nothing I've ever driven before in this game. It is just so powerful. I mean, it feels like you're in an R1 car, but you're in a street legal Lotus lookalike. So guys, you probably noticed me be pretty gentle with the throttle there off the line, and that's because this engine is backing 1,155 torque. And if you just full throttle that when you're not moving, you're just going to dig a hole in the ground. Your car isn't going to go anywhere. That is just so much power for the wheels to try to get on the ground. So you really got to be careful with it. You really got to feather that throttle and just be really gentle until you get up into around fourth gear. That's when you can just flat out just go for it and really unleash this 1200 horsepower engine. So now that we're on the Le Mans straight here, I can really just open it up and unleash all those 1200 horses. And this is just a crazy experience. I mean, this car accelerates so fast. 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. 0 to 100 takes 5 seconds. This is just unreal. I mean, it's got 1,200 horsepower, and the thing weighs only 2,600 pounds. So, it's just, it's a flea with a rocket ship. It's it's crazy. That's, a, just, I, that's the only way I can describe it. Now, upgrades for this car. There are no engine upgrades, unfortunately. You can't add anything more than 1,200 horsepower. Not that you would need to. You can take some white out of, I, I mean, maybe you remove, like, the paint on the inside because this thing barely has anything on it at all. It's purpose-built for speed. It has no assists, no, no technology in it at all. It's just a pure driver's car. Now, guys, one upgrade I did find interesting is you can actually remove the wing that Hennessy has on it, and it actually improves your car in every single way. It doesn't hurt your top speed. Amazingly, it doesn't hurt your handling or your brakes or your acceleration or your launch. It actually puts all those numbers in the green, and I did drive it without the wing on, and it did feel a little bit more stable, oddly. I mean, Hennessy say that wings add a ton of downforce, but apparently the game says it doesn't. Very strange there, but maybe it's just the shape of that body. Now, that wing doesn't act as an air brake or anything like that. Hennessy said that would just add too much weight, and it was unnecessary and too complicated, and it goes wrong. So they were just like, yeah, it'll just be a spoiler, you know, which, is, which isn't a bad thing. Now, I love the look of this car. It is just, it's so raw. It's, it's, I mean, it's really the only way you can describe it. You can see into everything. You know, there's all that wiring. You can just peer into the engine bay, and you completely open it up and see the whole engine. And look at that center brake light. You guys can see it right there. That is so cool. It's just one little dot. I've never seen anything like that before. That is totally unique, and it looks awesome. Now guys, wrapping up, the negatives about this car, um, it is a little expensive for Forza, you know, it's 900,000 credits, which isn't a lot, but, I mean, it's a lot for a car that doesn't have anything on it, and it is an R3 car, so you guys can take it in all those R3 races and kick those R3, you know, touring cars and purpose-built cars, you can just kick their butt with this incredible Venom GT, and the handling and the brakes, well, I'll just let you guys watch and you can see what I think about them. Yeah, they're not the greatest, but, you know, this car, when you're going that fast, you really have to brake a lot earlier than you're used to, so the brakes are fine, the handling is a little twitchy, you have to get used to it, but if you guys pay attention enough and you're careful on your revs and you're careful on your gear changes, it's a pretty easy car to drive. 
So, that's what I think of the Hennessy Venom GT. Comment below with what you think about it. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.